What's going on everyone? Okay, so today I'm gonna to show you how to do a stop motion using your Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. Now I don't have any fancy stop motion software, but I was faced with the task the other day of having to make a stop motion video, and I couldn't really find any specific workflow to automate as much of that as possible on the internet. So I figured I would make a video like that for you guys because I think I found a pretty good way to save you as much time as possible converting your raw files in Adobe Photoshop to JPEGs or PNGs and then automatically loading them into a sequence in Premiere Pro for a stop motion. So let's dive right into it. All right, so first thing is I'm going to open up Photoshop. Okay, and this is to convert my raw files into JPEG because you cannot bring raw files into Adobe Premiere Pro. So for this, I'm gonna go into Scripts, File Scripts, Image Processor. Now, I'm going to select the folder that I have placed these. I have them set right here under Stop Motion. So here's the files I want to use. And now I'm gonna hit Open. And under here, I'm going to select folder of how I want them exported. So select folder, and I'm going to put them in the same file system here, stop motion, and I'm gonna create a new folder called JPEGs. Okay, create, and open. Now, I'm gonna save them as a JPEG. I'm gonna put them to the maximum quality. You can also save them as TIFF files. Uh, or you can resize them to whatever pixel dimensions you want or save them as uh, Photoshop. But for this purpose, I would just want to save them as JPEGs to put them into my Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, I'm going to click Run. Now this is going to take quite some time, so I'm going to speed up this sequence. All right, there we have it. That took quite some time. But thankfully, we were able to speed up and get right through that. Now, as you'll see, there's a new folder in here with the JPEGs all in their sequential order. So now what I'm going to do is open up Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, I'm going to make a new project here. We're gonna call this Stop Motion and save that wherever you want to save your files. Save it in here. Okay. okay, now for this one, I'm going to create a new sequence. And in the settings, because I was shooting this vertical, this was going to be for an Instagram Reels. I'm just gonna change this to 1080 by 1920. And I'm gonna switch this from that to custom because I wanna use 10 frames per second. I shot 165 pictures and I wanna put on 10, uh, about, 10 pictures per second, so I'd have about a 16, um, 16 second video. So everything looks good here. I'm gonna press OK, now I have that. Now what I wanna do is I want to drag and drop all of these pictures into here, import the files, Okay, close this out. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop all of these onto my timeline here. Now, you might have run into some issues here when you were importing it into the sequence and that all of the individual images were not fitting in 10 per one second. That means your import of your image length was larger than one frame on your sequence. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna do a quick video. I'm gonna put a little sticker around here and you can click on that to see how you can change the import length for your pictures when you drop them into the timeline. Now because they're all oversized it's hard to see so I'm going to select this first one here and I'm going to scale this down I believe to maybe 31 percent. A little bit too much. I'm going to scale it to 32 percent right there. Okay now what I want to do so I don't have to go through each one of these individuals um, pictures and do that. I'm going to click right here and I'm going to hit Command C to uh, copy these 
features. Now I'm going to hit A on the keyboard and this is just select forward so it's selected all those and I'm going to hit command V to paste all that in. And now you'll see that it's perfectly sized on there and I have a 16 and a half second stop motion. All right, it's really that easy to use Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Pro to make a stop motion video and automate as much of the process as possible instead of going through each one of those individual images and changing them yourself. And I just want to say, if you thought that this video was helpful, please consider giving it a like, a comment, and subscribing to my channel because you know that helps everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video.